Hello, James here. And Jem. With Google for Education, talking all things Chromebook deployment. We're here with the top five tips for deploying Chromebooks at your school. So if you're a teacher, grab your IT admin, log into the admin console, and get ready for some tips. Schools have told us that Chromebooks are simple, shareable, affordable, and scalable. Meaning that IT admins can manage 10 or 10,000 devices, all from the same admin console. Which brings us to tip number one. For each Chromebook device you purchase, purchase a Chrome device management license. You can purchase a Chrome device management license through a Google partner and allows you to do three main things. Number one, it allows you to connect that physical device up to the admin console in a process called manual enrollment. More information about that here. Number two, it allows you to get support for your Chromebooks, meaning you can ring Google 24 by 7, 365 for help with Chrome OS and Chromebooks. And number three, and most importantly, it means you can manage over 200 policies for users and devices across your Chromebook fleet. And speaking of policies, tip number two is an important one. Set force re-enrollment and disable device return instructions. This ensures that your new Chromebooks won't go wandering away on you. So first, force re-enrollment ensures that even if someone Googles how to wipe a Chromebook and manages to do it, that device will remain managed. This setting is on by default for all domains. Next, let's say you do lose track of a Chromebook. Admins can disable that device and push a custom message. We recommend something like, this device has been disabled. Please return to school address. Since at this point, the Chromebook is nothing but a paperweight, we hear that devices often turn up. Happy days. All right, we're rolling. Tip number three. Restrict sign into your domain and disable guest access for students. These two really important settings ensure that students can only sign into Chromebooks with their school or domain account. What this means is that all the security and curriculum settings that you've set will apply when those users are signing in. It's really easy to set up. Let's dive in and check it out. In the admin console, jump to device management, then Chrome management, then device settings. Now simply add the following to the box below. It depends on your domain, but I'll add asterisk at edujames.com. The asterisk here is used as a wildcard, and this means it allows anyone at that domain to sign in. Now all you need to do is click Save and Done, and now all your Chromebooks will require users to sign in with an at edujames account. You can also add other domains if you need to. Now we'll just hop back in and disable guest mode, and these devices are ready for students. Brilliant! Now let's talk apps. Tip number four. Push key apps and extensions to your users. Chromebooks make it really easy to manage Chrome apps, extensions, and now Android apps. And as with other tips, we're going to dive back into the admin console. In Chrome management and user settings, search for apps. There we go. Now see where it says manage force installed applications? From here, you can easily add apps from the Chrome web store for your users, and you can customize this for specific OUs. We recommend adding the following extensions. First, add the Cast for Education app for teachers. This will enable students to cast their screens to their teacher's device or projector. Also, let's add G Suite training for all our users. This handy extension sits within each Google application and provides just-in-time training if users ever run into issues. And finally, for good measure, let's add the Share to Classroom extension and the Classroom Chrome app. That was an absolutely amazing tip. Now on to tip number five. Good tip, bad pun. <laughs> tip number five, route your Chromebooks through a proxy. In user settings, type network in the search bar. And then in proxy settings, select always use the proxy specified below. In the text box below, enter in the URL of your proxy server. Now, if students take these devices home, students will still be routed through your proxy server and security settings applied. Okay. That's it for our top five tips for Chromebook deployment. High five for top five. <laughs> if you need help with your G Suite deployment, feel free to access these videos. And if you run into any snags, give Google support a call. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>